Hello, I'm Timothy Perfect from Two Canoes Software, and I want to show you a, a walkthrough of MDS5, including uh, highlighting some of the new features in MDS5. So uh, let's go ahead and jump in. Um, before I get started, I want to just kind of tell you what MDS5, MDS is. Um, MDS is a, um, an administrative tool and a system for trying to automate setting up Macs as easily as possible and as quickly as possible. So if you're setting up five or 50 or even 5,000 Macs, MDS can help you streamline this process. And so the question is why, why do you want to uh, do this rather than just setting a Mac up from scratch uh, through the Setup Assistant? Well, time mainly. It takes a long time to walk through the Setup Assistant. Um, you can use MDM to be able to set things up as well um, using Apple's automatic device enrollment. Um, but a lot of um, organizations either doesn't, do not know the state of the Mac, or when you get a new Mac, or a Mac that's being repurposed, you want to be able to completely erase it and make sure that the data is erased, and then install the most recent OS onto that Mac. It's also important that when you get a new Mac in, the OS might not be at the most most recent uh, OS and may not even be at the major, the most recent major version. So it's important to get it up to that and also to make sure there's nothing else on that machine that you're unaware of. So it's always good to erase the machine and set it up from scratch to really know from, uh, for, from a security and safety perspective that that's uh, exactly what OS is on there and that it's a, uh, it's a clean install. All right, so this is the um, main interface of MDS. Um, when you first start it up, it will prompt you to go through some um, setup of a SSL certificate and those kind of things. But I just want to highlight what each one of these different sections are. So the general um, tab is generally where you would go to um, set some of the preferences about where the temporary folder is, some of the naming, um, and also to do a migration uh, if you're moving this between machines. Uh, the next one is the security tab. The security tab is where it allows you to set up the SSL certificate that's used by all the services that MDS uh, provides. It provides a web server, it provides uh, an MDM service through micro MDM, it can provide remote logging, all these things require a remote or a uh, SSL certificate. So this allows you to configure that. Um, one of the things that MDS does is when you're running workflow, it will sign, it will create packages, even packages that are, that, 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 even software that's already in a package, MDS may have to repackage it and it's smart enough to know when to do that and how to install that correctly. So it's, uh, it's a great way to um, uh, just let MDS do what it needs to do. We do have some options. If you have a developer certificate from Apple, you can sign the packages. This is not required, um, but we do have the option, and you just select your signing identity that would be in, that's installed in your keychain. Um, we also have the whole ability to remote syncing. So if you have a, a bunch of workflows that are on this one machine, and you want to be able to synchronize them to another uh, person or multiple technicians that are running MDS and want to share those same workflows, we can do that too. And so you can add in a sync URL and also what we call the syncing master that allows you to synchronize those settings. Um, workflow is one of the major sections. So this allows you to set up a workflow that then you boot to the recovery in uh, either an Apple Silicon Mac or in a um, uh, an Intel Mac and be able to run a workflow that will completely set up the machine. Um, with MDS5, we're kind of changing the way that we're doing it between Intel and Apple Silicon. And um, we still support um, running from recovery and erasing the machine. But we found with Apple Silicon, that's actually a lot more efficient if you use Apple Configurator 2. So what we've done is we've built in the functionality of Apple Configurator 2 or, or calling Apple Configurator 2 from MDS. Um, but we've also added in some additional um, enhancements and I'll, I'll talk a little bit about that. Just to be clear, we still support booting to recovery and be able to do all the operations that way. But if you want to do it the quickest and most uh, kind of modern way to do it, you would use the tools in Apple Configurer to wipe an, app, wipe an Apple Silicon, quickly install the OS, and then use MDS to run a workflow through the, um, um, then just installs packages and scripts. With the workflows, um, you can go in and I'm going to show you this one test workflow. Um, you can spe specify which uh, Mac OS installer you want if you're installing the OS, or you can not install the OS at all and just install packages and scripts. Um, you sp specify a folder that has your packages and apps, and also one that has scripts. And so you can run scripts 
Um, and you can also s specify the order that it's put in, after macOS installation or when a user first logs in. And for scripts, you can specify when after Mac is installed but before packages or when, when running workflow. So um, that's a, uh, it's a great way to kind of specify the timing um, when these things are run. A lot of folks like to create a service account, and so this allows, it gives you the ability to create that uh, first user on the uh, system. Then we have a bunch of options where if you want it to join Wi-Fi after um, it, the machine's all set up, so it's all set up for the user, we join Wi-Fi. You can set the computer name, you can prompt for it when you're running the workflow. We have a ton of different options in here to be able to make it so it's really easy when you run the workflow to be able to see exactly what is um, what the state of the machine is going to be dynamically. Or we can have it done completely automatically. Um, we do have integration for Monkey as well. Monkey is a, uh, a wonderful service uh, or a, a um, open source project uh, that allows you to do package management to make sure that all of your uh, software stays up to date and, pa and push out new packagers. And, and also having a self-service portal to be able to let, allow users to, monitor, to um, opt in and select what packages they want to install or what software to install. And we also have variable substitution, which is kind of exciting. So if you want to mod, if you write a script and you say, oh, based on certain criteria, you want to have, um, you want the technician to be prompted for maybe the subnet, the time of day, the, the um, room that the machine's going to be uh, deployed to, an asset tag number, and then you can use a script to do something interesting with that. You can specify this here. So anytime you specify one of these, it gets the, the technician gets prompt when they run the workflow, and then it automatically passes that to your scripts. So that's workflows. Um, the Apple Silicon Restore, this, the, this is a new feature in MDS 5, and this allows you to, when you plug in a, uh, if you have the DFU port, which is the USB-C port nearest the hinge or the ethernet port on an Apple Silicon Mac, um, and plug it into another Mac, you can then control that um, state of that machine, putting it what's done to, to DFU mode or restore mode. Uh, DFU mode means that you basically can just use Apple Configurator push uh, a Mac OS um, installation to it. So um, the um, uh, there's three buttons here, reboot, DFU mode, and restore of Apple Configurator 2. If I plug this into a machine and then uh, in the DFU ports with the USB-C cable and send the reboot command, it'll restart it. If I do DFU mode, it'll put in that DFU mode. You don't have to hold any... The, the DFU commands that you normally have to do with Apple Configurator. And then there's a single button restore with Apple Configurator 2. So this allows you to, with a single button, uh, be able to restore the most recent version of the OS. So um, there's also an automated way to do it. If I click on Start here, it will detect any time a Mac is plugged into that uh, USB-C port, and then it will um, automatically erase the Mac and put the um, most recent version of Mac OS on it. So it allows you to just plug them in and do one after another. And that allows you to be very efficient in restoring it. And there's an options button down here that I want to share with you. And so what I noticed, I was saying that it always does the most recent version of macOS. It doesn't have to do that. You can specify any um, version of macOS that that hardware will support. And you need to use an IPSW that is downloadable from Apple. It's actually downloadable from inside of, of MDS as well under the download uh, OS section. But you can specify the... Uh, um, custom IPSW here and specify which version, which is kind of unique because usually with Mac OS, you're always going forward. This allows you to go backwards. This is only for Apple Silicon, not Intel, um, but since everything's moving towards Apple Silicon, this is, uh, will probably be the, pretty clear will be the most common configuration. Um, one of the other things when you do Apple Configurator a lot, it does tend to keep a lot of these cache files. So we clear them out before restore so you don't run a disk space. And it can be like 15 gigs per restore. So it can add up. Even if you do a few machines, you can start running out of disk space. So having this re automatically remove cache turns out to be very important. Um, the remote log section, this allows you to, when you're running the workflow, to have the machine, uh, machines report in and tell you the status of what's going on. And so that's uh, a, a really kind of convenient way if you're doing a bunch of different machines. Next one is MicroMDM. So MicroMDM is a, is a great open source project. We um, put in a UI on top of it. MicroMDM has a bunch of features um, that are mostly, or they're all from the command line. Um, and so this, uh, this will allow you to, um, this will allow you to, 
uh, use MDM for doing that setup. So if you want to push out some packages, do automatic device enrollment, um, to be able to set an initial profile, all oh, that's great. So it'll be able to do all of these um, uh, features. It's not really for an ongoing you know, cloud service. It's not a cloud service. It's, it's built into MDS, um, but it's really good for that initial configuration. Uh, we do provide a full-featured, uh, well, a front-end to the Apache web service that's built into macOS. Um, this is used by the next two services that I'll talk about. Um, and it, uh, you can also set up your own website if you want to. So, for example, if I click on the lock here and I put in my password, I could then create a web website, select the folder. I usually like to uh, go into uh, User Shared, and I have a folder called Web, and then I'll share that out. And I'll share it. I can use SSL. I can use PHP. I can basically have a, a directory listing or no directory listing and make that available. So that's a, a web server that UI, which is great for being able to serve kind of any arbitrary com, uh, content. <coughs> um, the next service. That, oh, before I, I go on. So micro MDM. One of the new features of MDS five is before we were keeping the micro MDM service up to date, and you will be notified. Uh, there'll actually be a little message up top here of where the version is. It says it's version one eleven zero. Uh, it will tell you if that's out of date and recommend that you update. So we've removed any kind of dependencies for uh, MDS from the vanilla version of micro MDM. So this allows you to know when there's an update and keep that up to date, up to date, up to date. Um, Monkey, uh, as we talked about when I was talking about the um, the uh, workflows, Monkey allows you to uh, keep your packages and have a self-service portal um, for installing packages. Um, this allows you to actually run Monkey as a service. Monkey doesn't really have any uh, code that's running on the server side, but rather it's just uh, on a web service, so it's used into our uh, web service. But it, we walk you through, if you click on Install Monkey, it'll have you download it, install it, and then it will um, uh, set it all up for you and allow you to start using the, the utilities. Next is Monkey Report. Monkey Report is a PHP application that allows you to uh, keep inventory and, and, and query different aspects of your fleet. Um, and so this, again, uses the web service. It really is just a web. It's PHP. Um, we install, make sure PHP is installed and configured correctly and walk you through installing your Monkey Report. But it's just a great way to place to host Monkey Report. Um, the next section is automatons. So automatons are, we had originally had what's called the automaton or the MDS automaton, which is a little Arduino device that allows you to automate going into recovery and kicking off the workflow. So you could do true zero touch or minimal touch deployment. So we've, we've iterated on that. We now have what's called the MDS2. And the MDS2 adds in three buttons, has five LEDs, and allows you to do complete customization. It even has its own app now. It's not configured inside of MDS. So that's another new feature of MDS5. We've moved the functionality to a whole other application called Automaton. Um, so you can use the Automaton just for MDS or for other things as well. And so um, I just want to point out that it's no longer configured inside of uh, MDS, but it's a separate app. It's a free download. You get it when you buy the, the hardware. Create bootable installer that allows you to, um, if you want to be able to boot off an external disk, um, sometimes when you want to go backwards, especially on an Intel Mac, you, you, if you're uh, going backwards from like a uh, Mac OS 13 to 12, you can't do that from recovery. You have to boot to an external drive. This allows you to help create that external drive. And then finally, we've integrated Mist, which is the uh, a great open source project to um, uh, be able to download recent versions of Mac OS or any version of Mac OS that Apple makes available from Apple soft software update servers. So you can see that it lists them all here. If we uncheck this show IPSW, it'll just show the ones that are um, uh, basically uh, on uh, disk image. Then you download it and you install it with a regular installer. An IPSW will show the IPSWs. And so uh, it will allow you to select them from the uh, Apple Silicon Restore tab. So um, that's an overview of MDS. If you want to find out more information, please visit us at uh, twocanoes.com slash MDS, and you'll be able to find more information out about it. One of the things we did introduce in MDS 5 is that there's a 14-day trial. It's still open source and free, but if you want the compiled 
uh, notarized um, version of it and packaged up version of it, um, you do have to get a license from us. And there's information on that uh, website on how to go ahead and do that. We have a very active Slack channel. So if you go to the Mac admin Slack and go to the uh, channel 2canoes-mds, you can also uh, ask any questions there. Um, and then we also have support plans for folks that, that want to purchase support as well. So thank you very much for watching and um, I hope uh, you enjoy MDS5 and look forward to hearing what you're uh, going to do with it. Thank you.